Hi and welcome to a new video. In the last few videos, I received a lot of comments as to whether it is possible to block certain apps on the iPhone with Face or Touch ID. I'll show you how this works. Let's go. Note that you need at least iOS 14 for this method to work. If you don't know which version you have, find out on your iPhone under Settings, General and then Software Update. Apple provides no official method for locking apps, but there's a very good alternative. To do this, first open the timer and the clock. Then click on When Timer Ends. Scroll down to the bottom and select Stop Playing. Finally, confirm it with Set. Next, you need the Shortcuts app, which might already be pre-installed. If not, download it from the App Store. This is a free app developed by Apple in which you can program functions on the iPhone yourself using drag and drop. You can find the link in the video description below. Now open the app, click on Automation below and then select Create Personal Automation. Scroll down here and look for the automation app. Choose is opened and now you can already choose an app that should be blocked when someone opens it. As an example, I'll choose the music app. If you want, you can also select several apps at once. As soon as you have selected all the apps that you want to block, tap Done in the upper right corner. Click on Next and add an action. The action is called Start Timer. Preferably, you should search for it in the search bar at the top. By default, the timer is set to 30 minutes. Tap the number and change it to a 1. The minutes need to change to seconds. Before you click on Done, it is important that you deactivate the Ask Before Running option. Do not confirm. And now the automation should work. When I open music, the app closes after a second and I have to log in again either with Face ID or with the code. When you're back in, you can use the app normally until you leave it. To unlock the app, open the Shortcuts app once again and switch to the Automation tab. Then click on the automation in question and deactivate it. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!